Welcome to today's devotional. I'm your host, Terry Jackson. I'm wearing my other favorite cowboy hat. I have about three of them now uh, that are year-round hats. And uh, the other one is a Stetson hat. And I've got one is yet to be shown or given. And it's a unique shape. And we'll talk to you more about that. And I'm excited. You kind of coached me through all my little challenges in growing the beard white. And I've got mixed reports out there. Most of you seem to like it. And uh, I'm getting ready for the end of days. Sounds like a movie title, doesn't it? The end of days. In fact, I want to talk today about Luke 21. And I want you to pray along with me. There's a portion of scripture that many overlook. So Luke 21, verse 10, most people quote Jesus from Matthew chapter 24, when it talks about nation rising up against nation. So I want you to look at 10 through number 13. It reads, this is Luke 21. Then said he to them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall be from heaven. Now, this is very interesting. We know the pestilences would be like the COVID virus. But look at verse 12. It says, But before these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Now, many people know that Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 A.D., the prophetic words in Matthew 24 and Luke 21 are words like the book of Joel talks about in the last days, etc. They will have multiple fulfillments. There is an end time truth that is trying to be projected, but you get into these cycles of how things happen. Anybody who's been paying attention will know as you read Luke 21 that we are in a cycle of shaking, pestilence, persecution toward the church. So I'm going to encourage you to know that we are about to see in the nation and external a lot of persecution. It's already been happening internationally. It now is going to happen within this nation. Our persecution it's really just friction that pushes against us. But I want you to be encouraged. And it says this in verse 16, 17, and 18. And you shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. This is Luke 21. And some of you shall be caused to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. <clears throat> verse 18, but there shall not a hair of your head perish. There shall not a hair of your head perish. In your patience, verse 19 of Luke 21, in your patience possess you your souls. So I believe that in this season, we're going to have an opportunity to share the gospel. God's going to use pressure, problems, contention as a backdrop. The instability of the world will give us an opportunity to share. But what you're going to have to be settled in your heart and spirit about is that God has set the backdrop as a stage lighting situation. You're under the spotlight, and it's time for you to stand up for Jesus. If you do, the worst cases are going to come to Christ. 
If you do, God's going to unify the major members of the body of Christ. If you do what you're supposed to do, all will be well. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to seize our moment and get ready as they open up the nation to the aftermath of this virus. We're going to shine like a light in darkness and many souls will be saved. Thank you for that awareness. In Jesus' name, amen.